like those ones just because they're small and cute. I like those. But we need the letters. We do need letters, and I think we have to get a set yeah. to get the um the letters. But I'm fine also using the beads in the set. Oh, yeah. Those are a bit chunky. They are a little. The other thing that I do quite like is that they have the numbers from this 1989. Fridge. Oh my god, all the time. I need one that clips properly. Oh my god, I was talking to my dad the other day about like how I met Toys for and I didn't know my dad knew Toys for What? Yeah, I know. It's fine. But how did your dad know Twitch No, not personally. Oh. <laughs> I was like, how did your dad know Twitch I thought you were like... I'm surprised. Though. Godfather, like the bar. Oh, yeah. Twitch <laughs> Bar's actually my Godfather. <laughs> I'm back! I hope you missed me! So, essentially, I I'll probably do a better intro. To, like, start it off. Yeah. Anyway. So we <laughs> did the behind the scenes. So we are currently making friendship bracelets for the Euros tour because we got tickets. How fun. Oh, do you want to show what we've made so far? Yes. So, here, so we were here yesterday by the power of movie magic. Um, I didn't film all that much because we also hadn't seen each other in a long time and we were playing records and I, I don't want Taylor Swift to sue me. You know? Um, so Julian's gonna, this feels like um, the shopping channel. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to buy a midnight bracelet? Oh, that's so, cute. That's fine. No. So Amy's here too, actually. Amy's here, but she's gone somewhere. Probably warding off her dogs that hate us. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna make some more friendship bracelets today because that's like a tradition. Not a tradition. Yeah. It's like a thing. It is now. It's a thing that you do for Taylor Swift concerts. Mm. And so we went and bought some more beads today. We got more Kmart beads. Um, because we're using all the letters, it's really bad. And rather than like just making bracelets with the letters we have, we said no, we're gonna buy some more. So that's what we're gonna do. We went to Spotlight today, Paul. We got some alphabet beads. Amy, do you want to say hello? Hi. Um. <laughs> we got some red and some black because there was no red or black beads, and that's really unfortunate for reputation of red. Love it! Folklore. Evermore. Midnight. Alright, we're going to get back to making the price for the This is my dress I'm wearing to the Eros tour. It's a little bit, um, you can't really see what's going on. I don't know if that can help. It's sparkly. I feel like anything anyone's wearing to the Eros tour is sparkly. So as, I don't know if I've stated, the original plan was for me to go as 1989. This is a baby blue dress. Um, unfortunately it came to me and it's quite gray. It's like a little bit too gray that I'm in like folklore territory, which is like, okay. Like in certain lights, it kind of looks blue and in others it looks gray. However, my friend is going as folklore. So like me standing next to her dress, it's gonna look a little bit too similar. Also, I was just having issues finding like accessories to wear for 1989 because nobody really knows what to do about that. So I think I'm gonna dye it. Not I think, I know, I'm about to. I'm gonna dye it and we're gonna see if it goes okay. It's from That So Fetch. It's just a uh, like, I don't know that like cow neck kind of satin dress that was like very popular, like everyone has a version of it. It's that, but it's glitter. However, the sequins are see-through before anybody asks. So it kind of gives off this nice, like just shimmery effect, which I really like. Um, but that also means I can dye it. It'll work because the um, dye will dye the fabric underneath. So I have some Brit dye. I went to Spotlight, got myself a packet of dye in at azul blue, azul, oh, royal blue. I was reading a different language. I got the packet, we'll see how this goes. Oh, all the instructions are like in, they're like in there. I don't know if you can see that. But we're gonna see how this goes. I've never dyed anything in my life. Mm, we'll just give it a crack. I feel like we'll be okay, maybe. It's a really pretty dress. Also, if it's like tie dye or something, I don't really care, so. I feel like it can't go that bad. So I figured I'd show you how the dress turned out. Now on the label, it said that it was far out. Um, I don't know, maybe 70% cotton and then 20% polyester, maybe something like that. Which I thought meant it was like a mixed fabric, but it obviously just meant that the inside was cotton and the outside was something equivalent to polyester. Now it definitely did dye it. Um, there's no doubt about the inside. That's a very dark navy blue, but um, in terms of the sequins, it's dyed the 
I don't know if you can tell. It's dyed the stitching, but not the sequins, but it's definitely dyed the whole dress because I can tell it's darker. And in some areas, it's a bit splotchy, but like, it's okay. Like, I'm not fussed. I definitely prefer this color to what it was before, 100%. It's just very light. Like, it's a light blue. However, I have bought earrings to be midnight, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. Because the option would be to just go with 1989 once again, but I think I'm just gonna stick to midnight and add some more stars. Because if I gaslight myself enough, like the strings and all that are dark blue. So I'm just gonna go with midnights and like, it doesn't really matter all that much. So that leads me on to my next thing, which is I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair and my makeup. For jewelry, as I said before, I've got some like star earrings that I got in Singapore. And then I've got my Bi Charlotte necklace, which has got like a constellation on it. So that'll be good. I don't need too much because this thing like goes like the way it sits. It just doesn't like require a necklace, you know? Um, and then like, I'd really love a star chain like a star belt, a star chain, something like that, just to keep it going. But in terms of makeup, nails, hair, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go over to Pinterest. Let's start with nails, because I think it'll be the easiest. Um, the only problem I run into is that it's also my first week of uni, so I don't really want to like go with like nails that are like too crazy. Like the navy blue could be good just a little dark blue even with the glitter i did get a chrome powder so i could do like blue chrome see i don't really want to do where you have like all different colors because i think that's just a bit too mismatched for regular life that i have to go on with that blue chrome i don't care about your boyfriend but just in like general eras to her nails see like i wouldn't just do a sim I like I that's like cool like that's fun so i think i'm either just gonna go for like a plain blue with the chrome i'm not gonna try draw because that's gonna end horribly. Either like a blue chrome, because like the navy blue nails could be cute. Or will I wanna do like a subtle with the little gems, you know? Like that could be cute. I'll get back to you on the nails though. Yeah, let's do makeup. See, that's sick. I definitely want like gemstones all over my face. Those are nice nails. Oh, I definitely clicked on those before. Sorry, my house is making a lot of noise. I don't really know what's happening. Okay, so the vibe I'm getting is definitely blue. I'm definitely gonna have to do like a blue eyeshadow look which I actually don't think I own any blue eyeshadow, so I will have to sort that out. Definitely a lot of shimmer. Like, that's fun. I like the stars. I mean, I'm not doing glitter, because glitter scares me around my eye. Like, I'm just not for that. That's kind of cool. Like, no eyeshadow, just glitter. Like, gems. Like, blue stars. That could be cute. And, like, brown eyeshadow. That could be better. I kind of like that more. I suppose it also depends on what gemstones I can find. All right, let's do hair. Midnight hairstyle ears tour. Sounds good. Okay, a lot of gems. I do really like the um, slick in the front kind of vibe. Jewels in the hair, 100%. Or even like the like bedazzler. I once used a bedazzler in my hair. That was so much fun. Just having it out. I suppose, look, I'm, I'm aware I'm not going to look good by the end of it. Like, we'll probably all start crying. But are those done with string? Those are nice too. Okay, I think I've decided on like the slick, slick front pieces into the back. I don't know if I'll straighten or curl my hair, but it definitely a part of it has to be slick. Even if I did like a slick ponytail, but I feel like that also depends on how the dress looks. Like, you know how a hair has to match the silhouette of a dress, but definitely, I definitely need to go get some rhinestones, 100%. No, I feel, I feel more confident now. I feel like I'm onto it. as soon as Sabrina Carpenter walked on stage. So if that happened, Taylor's gonna be awful. Look at my nails. Um, I did them for back to school as well. That vlog might be coming soon or it might already be up. I have no clue. But they're cute though, right? Anyway, yeah, that's it. Hey queens! Hey, how you're doing? It's been a long time. I'd like to apologize for the hodgepodge of this video. It's a bit, it's a bit crazy, but you know what? That's kind of how the year is to went for me, so that's fine. It's also been a long time since I've been on YouTube, but I'm back. I'm ready. 
let's go. Um, I did explain all of the kind of like where I've been, what's happening, what's going on in a different video that I made, which I hate and probably won't see the light of day. So I figured I should probably just give a little quick explanation about what's happening with the channel now. Um, so essentially I took a break. Look, I was quite busy. That's literally the extent of it. I was really busy. I didn't have time to do YouTube anymore. Something I had to give. It had to be this. It was like the end of the year, all my assignments were due, which like is a lot of video like recording and editing on my behalf anyway. Um, there were also just last year had a lot of like emotional things happen. So I just need, you know, I needed some time. Um, my content was getting real bad. So I just want to say sorry for anyone who had to put up with the last couple videos that I made like before I stopped. I just like kind of gave up on editing, gave up on filming. And so it became a chore more than something fun. And that's what YouTube is. YouTube's a hobby. So I don't know, like... I don't know what happened, but it just wasn't good anymore. And so I stopped. I'm back now. I have sorted out all my issues. I have more time, but I'm not coming back to weekly uploads. I have I had a double chin this whole time. Essentially, I'm only going to post when I feel like it. It should be around once a month. I'm not making any promises, though. I only really want to film when I've got an idea or something that I'm passionate about or an event that I'm really passionate about because there are just certain things that I was filming that like would make them so much worse. Sometimes when I was really crunched for time, the worst thing that I could think of doing was whipping out my camera and having to explain what I was doing. Um, and so I'm not going to put that weekly pressure on myself anymore. However, I do really enjoy it. I also want to take more time on editing and producing work that I love because this is kind of... Not that I want to be a YouTuber for the rest of my life, but like the video editing and the creation side of things, that's kind of like where I want to be forever. And I don't want to keep putting out like bad things. Um, so I'm back. I don't think I'm going away anytime soon. I have some really exciting things planned for this year, which I hope you guys will really enjoy as well. Um, but also the next couple of videos will probably be just me trying to like experiment with what like my editing style and like camera angles and things because I really, you know, I'm an artist. I want... I want to give a little bit of that in my content that I make. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already got I don't think I, I haven't said this in a long time. Um, and I'll see you not next week. I've actually got to change that last part of my ad. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you when whenever I feel like it. Bye!